right now, do you have a favorite jazz standard? Um, I know you don't know that many. Yeah, really gotta plumb the depths. Right now, today, it might be more than you know. Uh, sunny side of the street. Probably be my ideal. Uh, well, they're all the same. I've always liked I'll Be Seeing You. Uh, Along Came Betty. That's my favorite right now. Uh, Along Came Betty, Stablemates, all those Benny Golson tunes. Sorry, there's so many go into my head. It could happen to you. I still love to play body and soul. Yeah, it's probably still my favorite. I feel like any uh, pianist watching this is like, Chelsea's favorite jazz standard is September in the Rain. I just want to be sure before I start. Punjab. East of the Sun. Days and Wonder Rose is a very, very nice one. I like that one a lot. Do uh, bass trombone players have lower standards? Oh, wow, you're right. Um, I really like Tangerine. Caravan, for sure. Just in time. I think that's a nice standard. How fast can you play? Fast. Ish. <laughs> not that fast. Not as fast as I used to. Time is not kind. It depends on how much you're paying me, actually. I've never considered myself as a really a fast player, but there's been some dates that I've had to take things at temples that that uh, were pretty fast. How do I quantify that? Um, I never really timed myself. I would say probably slightly faster than I practice. And I think <laughs> <laughs> not that fast. <laughs> not as fast as I'd like. I would say very fast. Okay. That doesn't mean very good. I don't like it. But uh, not that fast. If I could sing a set full of ballads, I would. <laughs> How fast can you play? Not very. Never fast enough. Please not fast, dude. Try me. Maybe I could push like 250 miles per hour. Not naming any real places. Can you describe your theoretical venue from hell? We'll call it Lucifer's Place. <laughs> wow, because so many places suck. I'm sorry, this answer's going to take forever. It's brightly lit. It's at least six miles away from anything. <laughs> a ton of steps. A building without any elevators. There's nobody that you're supposed to like to do. You like had been talking to is like not there. Sticky floor. You know, there's pillars everywhere. Smell of old beer. Well, there's no piano, but that goes with most venues. So I guess that wouldn't really set it apart. The piano is about three and a half cents out of tune, and it will change per set. Tiny, tiny stage. You have to walk through where the people are to get to where you have to play. Before you play, they're playing Springsteen. It would just be a giant bar. And then they turn off that music and everyone goes, who turn off the music? Um, and every stool's filled and they're all filled with a loud college girl that goes, ah, oh my God. And then you start to play with a bass player. And the sound system is complete and utter garbage. A sound person you say something to and they're like, yeah, totally. And then they do the exact opposite of that. Everything just sounds like really, really large monitors that are all broken facing you. And there'd be really loud vacuums at all times. There's screens of my face. Really bad food. They don't give you free food, they don't give you free drinks. But not my hands, so you can't see my hands, it's just my face broadcast around the room. Really flimsy white chairs, like I'm a big boy. Flashy lights everywhere, because for some reason this venue also doubles as like a, like a dance floor most nights. But like the manager's grandpa loved jazz, uh, he thinks. That is why they have these jazz nights there. Um, on Thursday nights, uh, only once a month when normally the rest of the month they are having like disco night. The crowd is like the opposite of what you thought you'd be playing for. So like all your rep is like completely different. Playing in front of people that just don't get any idea of who you are, what you're about and what, you know, where you're coming from. My worst venue is all about audience expectations versus reality. <laughs> the whole gig is over at 3 a.m. They'd probably pay you like 
$2 for a late night set. Are there any common misconceptions about your instrument that you want to clear up? Hmm. Misconceptions about the piano. <laughs> about the saxophone? The saxophone. Wow, this must be a good opportunity if I can think of something. How much time do we have? It's not that hard, and it's not that easy. I don't know. I feel I feel like there's not a lot of negative stereotypes about saxophone players. Saxophone's the easiest instrument. It's pretty easy. It's the, it's the easiest of the instruments. I want to strengthen the misconception. There's a generation of people that think that the saxophone is a sexy instrument. I think a lot of people look at saxophones just like they're being just like crazoid and reed, always reeds are like in the, and they're just very anal about little things, you know. We tend to play too many notes. And I've played the saxophone for a long time and I've not picked up very many chicks. Do you have a count on number of chicks picked up while you were playing the saxophone? It's low. I'd rather not share it. Are there any common misconceptions about your instrument, about the bass that you want to clear up? It's not a cello. Trumpet is not that hard. You just have to work on your breathing. Breathing is essential to this instrument. It's a wind instrument. Amazing drummers who are, you know, some of the best musicians I've worked with. Almost every single drummer I've ever worked with starts playing louder as soon as I begin soloing. Never understood it. I don't wish that I played a smaller instrument, but I secretly do. And for vibes, I guess the biggest misconception is that everybody thinks it's a f***ing xylophone. The common misconception, as uh, supported by the like Pennsylvania Department of Unemployment, is that vocalists are not musicians and that they have their own separate category, just singers. Everybody, when I'm at a gig, is like, oh, nice xylophone. Turns out uh, we do all the same stuff you do. Does it have wood bars? Common misconceptions about drums. Where do I start? And mine has a pedal, so it's definitely a xylophone. Drummers, like, are stupid or don't know how to read music or don't know anything about theory. That's not true. What would you want to say right now to the Philly jazz community at large? The only way that we're going to come out of this stronger is if we really continue to unite our community. I love you. I miss you. Take this time to enjoy your loved ones and the people you don't get to see a lot when you're working. I miss everybody a whole lot. No, I just miss seeing people and making music with people. I miss, uh singing with you and I definitely miss drinking with you and I miss making fun of all of you so much. I appreciate our community that we have. Uh, this year has been trying for uh, a number of reasons. Philly musicians really seem to rally around each other and it's been very encouraging and at many points I would say during this past entire year I've been very very proud to be. Uh, a Philadelphia musician.